Last seven days in AI news, we've seen a wide range of advancements and initiatives around the globe. From Abu Dhabi's new company, MGX, aiming to invest in AI technologies and OpenAI's chip manufacturing ambitions to breakthroughs in speech restoration devices, companionship AIs for dementia patients, digital Einsteins creating physics theories, game-playing AIs that act more human, and AI assistants revolutionizing software engineering. We also take a look at how Glasgow Airport is employing AI and augmented reality to support passengers requiring special assistance. Okay, so Abu Dhabi recently started a new company called MGX to invest in AI, aiming to manage $100 billion worth of assets soon. This would make it a major player in AI investment. MGX, created with the help of Mubadala and G42, is looking to invest in a big project by Sam Altman, co-founder and CEO of OpenAI. Altman wants to raise trillions of dollars for a new venture in making chips to power AI technologies. Altman has been involved with the UAE for a while. Last year, he talked about AI in Abu Dhabi, highlighting the Emirates' early interest in the field. Later, his company, OpenAI, teamed up with G42 to bring advanced AI tools to the Middle East, targeting sectors like finance, healthcare, and energy. Recently, Altman suggested that the UAE could help lead a global AI regulatory group. He's been trying to get funding for a chip business to make OpenAI less dependent on other chip manufacturers, like NVIDIA. This would help OpenAI achieve its grand plans for AI. Additionally, Elon Musk might also bring his business, XAI, to the UAE, according to the UAE's AI minister, Omar Al-Olama. Al-Olama believes economic factors will play a big role in attracting such high-tech ventures to the region. All right, now, engineers from UCLA have created a groundbreaking wearable device that's making it possible for people with voice problems to speak again. This small, flexible patch is worn on the throat and can turn muscle movements into clear speech with the help of smart technology, achieving nearly 95% success in understanding and reproducing spoken words. This innovation is particularly helpful for individuals struggling to speak due to issues with their vocal cords or those recovering from throat cancer surgery. The device works by sensing the movement of muscles in the throat and then using a smart algorithm to convert these movements into spoken words. It's made of a skin-friendly material and a special layer that reacts to magnetic changes caused by muscle movements, allowing it to capture speech with high accuracy. Weighing just seven grams and only 0.06 inch thick, the device is easy to wear and can be reattached with double-sided tape. It represents a significant step forward in assisting people with speech disorders, offering a non-invasive and comfortable option for communication. The UCLA team has previously worked on other projects to aid those with disabilities, including a glove that translates sign language into spoken English. Their latest device could change lives by providing a new way for people to express themselves when traditional methods are difficult, uncomfortable, or even impossible to use. The research, which showed a 94.68% accuracy in recognizing and reproducing spoken sentences in tests with healthy adults, opens up new possibilities for people with speech disorders to regain their ability to communicate effectively. Okay, next. In Sydney, a care home has introduced an AI named Viv as a companion for its residents with dementia. Viv is part of an innovative approach to enhance the lives of those experiencing memory issues by offering comfort and companionship. Developed by the University of New South Wales, Viv offers companionship and comfort to residents like Catherine Fee. Unlike traditional care methods, Viv interacts with residents, sharing stories and engaging in conversations about everything from the joys of spending time with children to personal hobbies. This AI is tailored to individual needs, able to provide support and even help manage feelings of restlessness or depression. The creation of Viv involved input from women living with dementia, ensuring she is relatable and reflective of the experiences of those she assists. This innovative approach not only aids residents in maintaining an active mind, but also supports care staff by being a constant presence, potentially available 24 7 While not a replacement for human interaction, Viv represents a significant support tool in the care of individuals with dementia offering a blend of companionship and tailored care that can enhance their quality of life. Next, at German National Research Institution, Forschungszentrum Ulich, scientists have engineered a groundbreaking AI, akin to a digital Einstein, capable of devising new physics theories from analyzing complex data. 
This AI, part of the Physics of AI initiative, marks a departure from traditional methods by explaining its theories in physics terms, making it easier to understand the underlying principles. Historically, theory development in physics, a domain graced by luminaries such as Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, involves observing systems, understanding interactions, and testing predictions. The AI developed by the Eulich team introduces a novel approach by first simplifying complex interactions observed in data using a neural network. It then reverses this process to construct new theories, essentially mimicking a physicist's method but through AI's lens. The AI has been tested on datasets like handwritten numbers to discern patterns in how pixels interact to form images, demonstrating its ability to handle and simplify the complexity of interactions within large systems. Unlike many AIs that hide their theories within indecipherable parameters, this AI stands out by making its findings accessible and understandable, translating complex AI-derived concepts into the familiar language of physics. This approach not only advances the field of explainable AI, but also bridges the gap between intricate AI algorithms and comprehensible scientific theories, promising a new frontier in both AI and physics research. All right, next. Google's DeepMind has introduced Sema, a new AI designed to play video games more like a human buddy than a typical all-powerful game AI. Sema, short for Scalable Instructable Multi-World Agent, is still in the research phase. It's being taught to play all kinds of video games, including those without a clear ending and open-world games using natural language and visual understanding. The goal isn't for Sema to win games, but to follow instructions and act as a cooperative player in your team. The DeepMind team, in collaboration with eight game developers like Hello Games and Coffee Stain, is training Sema in various games, including No Man's Sky and Goat Simulator 3. Unlike traditional game AIs, this model doesn't require special programming or access to the game's source code to learn how to play. It has started by mastering about 600 basic actions, such as turning and climbing, with the aim to handle more complex tasks in the future. Sema's training involved creating new environments for it to interact with and analyzing how human players follow instructions and make decisions in games. This approach helps it understand gameplay and predict outcomes. While still early in development, Sema represents a new type of game AI that could enhance gaming experiences by adding an AI teammate capable of complex interaction and cooperation, potentially changing how AI is used in games. Next, Cognition AI, a San Francisco-based startup, is changing the game in software engineering with its new AI assistant named Devon. Devon is not just another tool. It's designed to work alongside humans in developing software. It keeps users in the loop with updates, takes in their feedback, and helps make important decisions during the development process. What sets Devon apart is its ability to handle complex engineering tasks from planning to execution, learning from mistakes along the way. It's equipped with all the tools a developer needs, such as a code editor and browser, and works in a secure computing environment similar to what human developers use. Devon can do a lot. It learns new technologies, builds and deploys applications from start to finish, fixes bugs, trains its own AI models, and even tackles tasks in open source projects. It's so advanced that it successfully completed a project on Upwork involving computer vision to assess road damage. In testing, Devon showed impressive results solving real-world GitHub issues at a rate much higher than previous benchmarks. This performance has caught the attention of many with industry leaders noting its potential to change software development significantly. The introduction of Devon is sparking discussions about the future of software engineering. While it might mean the end for some jobs, it also indicates a shift towards more AI-driven development processes. Devon's creators are looking to expand its capabilities beyond coding, aiming to develop AI agents for various fields. For now, Devon remains exclusive, but plans are in place to make it more widely available in the future. All right, now. Glasgow Airport is teaming up with Connected Places Catapult to test new AI and augmented reality technologies to help passengers who need extra assistance. This effort is part of a project called the Connected Airport Living Lab. The goal is to explore how these advanced technologies can improve the travel experience for passengers requiring special support. A variety of innovative companies will participate in these trials. 
For instance, Gazuki Studios will test an instant messaging service that uses AI and augmented reality to help disabled passengers. Hello Lamp Post aims to improve communication and navigation within the airport using AI digital assistance accessible through QR codes. Signaps is working on providing automatic sign language announcements and Signly offers sign language translations via QR codes to make information more accessible for passengers who are deaf or hard of hearing. The initiative underscores the airport's commitment to enhancing services for passengers needing special assistance and illustrates how technology can make air travel more inclusive for everyone. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.